tic-tac-toe with what is called a five-square win. In order to get a square, you must determine if the, contest, if the guest is giving the correct answer or making it up. The guests have been given the answers, but they will be hearing the questions for the first time. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started. Gloria, 
What is the meaning of the Japanese word kaiju? Robot monster. She says robot monster. I think that's correct. Strange beast used to refer to giant monster movies from Japan. I did that. So, Sorry, Gloria. No, unfortunately, X, X, X cannot get the square. He'll have to earn it himself. Gloria, <laughs> <laughs> for the win. Gloria. <laughs> What was Edgar Rice Burroughs' name for a fictionalized version of Mars? Could it be... Bathroom! Could it be... I read the wrong words. <laughs> We're going to go with Barsoon. I'll agree. It is Barsoon. Next is Mars.
I'll take Kathy Tursky. Kathy Tursky. Hello. 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 True or false? Before the alarm clock was invented, people were hired to shoot dried peas from a glow gun at people's windows to make them up, to wake them up in the morning. These people were called Damn. knockers up. <laughs> I would have called them <laughs> targets. <laughs> dead man. I would yes. Dead man. Yes. Yeah, dead man. Um, <laughs> Yeah, very dangerous occupation. I think if someone got me with a dry pee when I was still in bed, I'd probably be packing a gun next to my bed the next morning. Keywords are pee. Yes, yes. But uh, yes, I, that's true. She says it's true. Oh, well, I know the term knockers up is correct. I wasn't sure about the peas, but I'll agree. Yeah, I, you don't want someone knocking. It is true. It's <laughs> <Sir, laughs> the square. I walked in at the last minute because then my knockers up was a little bit late today. <laughs> I was insufficiently knocked up this You're morning. Not knocked up. <laughs> Mikey Liz from the blog. We have a volunteer to knock him up. <laughs> Alright, family show. <laughs> Yes. It is forbidden for any member of the British royal family to play the game Monopoly. <laughs> what do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sure, that sounds legit. Yeah. They said yes, it is true. Ah, oh, don't give him hints. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually true because Prince Andrew admitted in an interview that it gets too vicious. <laughs> Circle cannot get the square she has to earn it herself. However, it is also a super square game. You make if you're a gambling person, you can shop around or you can just go for the definite. One. There's no definite here. That's all a crap. Go for the oh yeah. I'll go for the tree star. All right, hit me. She is the secret square. <laughs> Square. 
go for Teddy for the win. Teddy Har Harvia for the win. Harvia. 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 It's got a jacket, I'm sorry. It's got 12 <laughs> syllables in it. Harvey. Okay. Alright. Teddy. True or false? The mascot of the Delta State men's soccer team is the fighting okra. I thought it was a deltoid, but uh, No, I don't think that's true. No, you know what they thought. Okay. It's false. I'm going to agree. It is false. That it should be true. <laughs> I'm going to fire the sound man. <laughs> 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 false. Yes. They are a Delta yes. State. Not you. <laughs> yes. The other one. The effects guy. <laughs> <laughs> they are the Delta State, Delta State Statesmen. But the fighting okra is the unofficial mascot. For more information, go to feartheokra.com. X gets the
that's an intriguing answer, and I really want to believe that's right, but I don't believe that's right. Oh, why not? <laughs> that it is great? But I disagree. Thank you. Actually, it is Sherlock Holmes. Thanks oh. again for the Next. Yes. 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 Okay. works like The Death Dealer and various Conan prints in the 60s and 70s named the artist. Uh, Kelly Freese. <laughs> yeah, I love Kelly Freese's work, but Frazetta just blows him away. That's false. That's right, it is Frank A. Frazetta, Circle Meets the Square. <laughs> Circle! You me a liar? <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just a host. Circle. Keep turning. Keep turning. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Gloria Oliver to the block. Gloria Oliver to the block. 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 Gloria. And that's the best way to do it. The Japanese anime Gotcha Man was released in America as what? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Battle of the Monsters. Battle of the Monsters. I don't mean it was a mistake, but. Hey! I... <laughs> no comments from the audience. Never did the anime. You know, I'm going to disagree. It was Battle of the Planets. X gets the score. Sherry, for the block. Yes, I'm off the block. <laughs> Sherry, true or false? In 2012, the Department of Homeland Security created a guide for surviving zombie attacks. Um, yes, actually they did because people are too stupid to prepare for disasters on their own. And or read The Walking or, Dead. Or read The Walking Dead. <laughs> OG. Or read anything. Or read anything. And they developed it in order to help people learn how to take care of themselves in times of great disaster. Because they made it fun. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> That's like having your face eaten off to me. Right? I'm, going to I'm going to agree, and a little known fact is that that came across because of too many people and cell phones walking into the <laughs> the zombie apocalypse is here, y'all just don't know it. <laughs> We're soaking in. Exactly. <laughs> we are. It's Paul Mullen. So okay. yes. <laughs> Actually, it is true. Circle gets the block. Oh, I love it. Star Trek the Animated Series, he did write one episode of the show. Which one? Um, <laughs> oh, what was it called? The, the Indefinite Vulcan? No, no, no. It was the Infinite Vulcan. I, 
I'm going to bow to your superior expertise on the Star Trek the Animated Series. I'll agree with that. The episode was called The Infinite Vulcan, X gets the square. I need all the odds, fuck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's worse than that. She's her luck, Jim. I need more. It's her luck. It's your turn. Triples. Fighting triples. Ooh, the fighting. Yeah, you never well, cross well, triples with piranhas. This is not yes. a good thing. Okay, I'm going to go with Patrice for the block. Patrice for the block. Thank you. Let's go. Patrice. In Game of Thrones, which house was responsible for killing off most of the House Stark in the Red Wedding? Which house wasn't responsible? <laughs> That's what I would like to know. Oh, hey, there's Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny story about that. Oh, look, squirrel! <laughs> that was the moment when I stopped reading the books because I was so annoyed. <laughs> he just killed off all the characters that I was actually interested in. Well, with the exception of uh, what's his face, Tyrion. Um, it was the Frey family. Yeah, it was the Frey family. Burned into my brain. Wait, the Starks got killed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the bride was a real bridezilla, things got out of hand. That's <laughs> you, And it was House for a Serpo gets the square. <laughs> okay, we are down to one square. And if, he gets, if you get this right, you will get a five square win. If not, Serpo will have to earn it herself. Alright, Mike and Liz. Mike and Liz! Mike and Liz! No bread. No bread. <laughs> Mike and Liz. Charles S. Roberts started this game company in 1954. What is the name of this company? Milton Bradley. He says it was Milton. Ironically. <laughs> I, I think that is correct. I'll agree. Actually, it was Avalon Hill. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, you'll have to earn it yourself. <laughs> Back to Mike and Liz's question. Oh, how ironic. <laughs> In 1985, Milton Bradley... <laughs> the answer is Milton Bradley. <laughs> Don't jump ahead of me. In 1985, Milton Bradley was found guilty of plagiarism oh. for what game? That is scandalous. What game was it not? <laughs> oh. oh, sure. Um, that was actually the Dark Tower game that Milton Bradley was um, accused of plagiarism for. Okay. Like Charles Roberts. <laughs> she says it was Dark Tower. I'm going to agree. It was the electronic fantasy game Dark Tower. Circle gets the boy for the win. What? <laughs> <laughs> this, this 
book could be interesting. I'm Aslan, though. Tell like, tell like Rhonda logical. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah! You don't get to come to Bear Fight Club. <laughs> Rhonda, How can we have and it? Rhonda and Aslan, who wrote the novelizations for all Star Trek The Original Series episodes? Uh, you no, know, Rhonda, obviously. Obviously, it was Shatner. Come, <laughs> move. You're welcome. And he's a little ghostwriter too. I'm gonna have to disagree. It is actually James Boyish, so for this is for. For what famous 1980s TV show? ABC News. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, 1980s famous TV shows. Let's see, in the 1980s I was watching Muppet Babies. Who uh, was it? <laughs> like you stop. <laughs> about Bear Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> Bear <laughs> Another crack like that will fill this auditorium with bronies. <laughs> uh, Terry Nation, this is actually one that if you have to, it's a deep cut, you have to really be into helicopters to remember it. He wrote uh, some uh, scripts for Airwolf. Says Airwolf. Wow, that was a deep cut. I remember that show. Uh, I don't think that was Terry Nation, though. I'm, I'm going to disagree. It was MacGyver. X gets the square. Oh, Anything that's two is electrical. 
That's so background future to electric movie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, go with my clothes. Happy clothes. There you go. We didn't do it. Not yet. Uh, wait, <laughs> do you want me to take it away from you? Okay, Mike and Liz. Alfred Butts and James Brunot are credited for creating this popular board game that was inter inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame in 2004. What is the name of this game? Don't say Milton Brad. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Works for everything. Sure. Al, do you want to take this one? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I'll go with Scrabble. Is it Scrabble? Yeah, Scrabble. I'm going to go with them. It was Scrabble, so please <laughs> subscribe. Teddy, how are you for the block please? Teddy! Chickens see more colors than a human being, yes or no? I don't know, the chickens I know don't talk to me much, so uh, I know they can see earth tones and infrared, but no, no, I don't think chickens can see as, as well as we do. They don't need to. So you're saying no? No. Okay. I'm going to agree. Chickens can see through time, but I don't think they can see more colors. Actually, it was yes. Chickens possess not only the three basic color tones, red, yellow, and blue, but also ultraviolet light, unique color. I, I didn't know that. Circle, you have to turn square. And fair. Okay. Also, this, remember, this is a super sport game. If you want to go hunt it around, you can. Otherwise, you want to go take a shot. I couldn't heck with those chickens. It's the only colors. I'm going for the sure thing. Okay, Teddy, do me right. Okay, Teddy. Oh, there were so many things there. There were so many things there. Right? Family All right. Family group. Teddy, which artist has won the most Hugo Awards for Best Fan Artist? I'd say Teddy Harvey, but uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, uh, Bill Rochester. Repeat the name again, I'm sorry. Bill Rochester. Bill Rochester. Okay. Which artist has won the most Hugo Awards for Best Fan Artist? I should know. <laughs> I'm going to have to disagree with them. It was Brad W. Foster. He has won eight awards out of 27 nominations. Circle gets his game after <laughs> Oh, and by the way, the secret square for the, for the last game was Rob Rogers. Rob Rogers, the musical. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see that. You don't want to hear that. You don't want the soundtrack. You, you don't want to be the lead singer of, of Aslan's okay. band, Technical or Dream Chicken? Well, I, I do, but you don't want to. It, 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 it's like the weird asides in the notes that we're making is why there will never okay, be a lack of Okay, Eric, you get a free pass to FedCon for next year?
that. Rollies! <laughs> Bonus footage. Let's see that sign again. I did sign again. Oh my god. That was kind of good. He was an easy sign. Oh, it's like, how did we start? I thought that was the second game. Right? Oh, 